You know, like I said, we got trained by by really some of the greatest wrestlers of all time, and, and it's an honor to have learned that, you know, and, and that's what kind of style we came up with. And it was kind of a different style. It wasn't because the Road Warriors had their style, but we weren't like the Road Warriors. We're, we weren't like that strong, you know, the, the uh, whatchamacallit, strong stuff, uh, you know, the power slams and all that stuff. And, you know, we got into just being like rowdy and like we're like we're uh, barroom fighting or something. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. Oh, it worked out good. What the hell? You know, you only live once and go around and now my body's all beat up, but uh my body's uh this bad because you know when Sag got hurt, when I came back to WCW in ninety-nine, I went in the hardcore division and I was the world champ for four years. So doing that for two and a half years, or, or about two years, uh for 275 days a year. It took a toll because they weren't buying us nothing. We were using the old stuff from the building. So me and Fit Finley were whacking each other with them cast iron trash can lids. I mean, uh, uh, trash cans that were like like cement. We were going through real tables. Then Finley almost got his leg cut off when I threw him through one table. It was made with Formica. He was laying there with, with his leg. Oh, it was the worst thing. I took my shirt off and put it over quick. I you know, right away, call people back. I couldn't care about the kayfabe or anything because I was worried about him, you know. And uh, he got drop foot from that, but now he was back. He got back in the ring and everything. But there's only one Finley. He's a tough SOB, too, just like there's only one Lord, you know. Yeah. So, you know, because you mentioned Finley, uh, I was going to go on something else, but because this is like Finley was quite far back, but I do want to get to that. Can you right? So I know you and Fit Finley feuded for a short while uh, before I get almost to the a, almost a year. Oh well, okay, a long while then. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who got the haircut first? Who got the buzz cut and then the, like the blonde spikes? Because you had the same haircut for a while. Well, uh, I always had this. So th this was mine from when I when I came into business. We came in with that, and people were thinking we were the Road Warriors. And I said no. You know, we're we're the nasty boys, and you know, we, we had you know, I had the mullet and Sag had the Mohawk too. So we came in with that. And then that's when um Russo wanted to change everybody back to their real names, no nasty, no this, no that. And then we kind of went into the military thing, and then me and Fit got together where he trained me, remember? Mm -hmm. He trained me at first, and then, and then we split up down the ways. But I, he was he was like my coach, and then he put me through all this stuff, and that was all real. I was in a, a, a he was making me do sit ups and I like a Crick River, and it was freezing out. And I'm in a, get this shot already. It's freezing out here doing this stuff. So, but yeah, I, I always had a good time with Fit. He's like I love him like a brother, and and, and Lord's the same way. I, he's a, he's a great guy and and uh, a, a good friend. You know these guys are good friends of ours, and they always will be. You know, yeah. so Regal uh, very much has got like the utmost respect for Fit Finley purely as a wrestler and just somebody who was understatedly just one of the toughest guys out there. And he, you know he didn't have to let it be known for it to just be true and everyone just had utmost respect for him did you well learn fit respect for him as well in that sense well, well, fit, well fit was in the real deal he was in the you know the army in, you know over in ireland and stuff and you know they're, they're they weren't screwing around when he was over there so he's he's a tough he's one tough sob i put him right up there with everybody else yes he's a he's a tough sob and a great guy though great guy great family guy and and i just was asking sag yesterday um, who is, um, he wrestled Germany a lot, but I think he's from England, uh, but the older wrestler now, um, but he wrestled Germany a lot. Uh, he knows Lord real good. He knows fit. It's not Dave Taylor. Then I, you'll, you'll, you'll have that. No, no, no. You'll have to ask that. He's older. I mean, like maybe seventies now. You'll know him if Sag, Sag, Sag will mention him. I keep, I forget his name, but he, we met him in Japan and he loved us, you know, and then and he told Lord and because Lord and fit both admire him. He's a, he's been around a long time, mm. you know, so, but ask Sag, Sag will remember his name. Uh, just one, one more thing before we get off fit is yeah. you mentioned briefly the broken leg. Someone else asked about that as well. What was the circumstances about how he ended up, uh, fit ended up broken leg. Well? What was it? Was he it? He didn't break his leg. What he did was I had a table lined up the night before, sold out Tupelo. When I threw it through, it was plywood. He couldn't break it. So he was so pissed off. The night next night, he goes, I'm, I'm getting through that table knob. So when I threw him this time, when he hit, it looked like a bowling ball went through it. It's just, just a round thing. Here, 
the table with the, the the face of it was made with formica. So it cut him up. So it cut him like an axe, like somebody took an axe and hit him like this, right on right where your, your knee and that is. So it was down at a bone, but it cut his nerves and everything. His his leg was hanging open. So he didn't break his leg. He cut oh, it was dude. I don't even like thinking about it. It was so and there he is cut open like that. And then I got cut from it, just a little cut right here. And he was going, he, we're both in the emergency room together. And he goes, no, just do what you got to do. No pain medicine for me. And I was like, well, give me, give him my, give me his <laughs> medicine to me. And I only had a little cut here, you know, but I was really worried uh, about him. And then the next day, I went face to face and Jimmy Hart saved me, but I was going to punch Eric right in the face because they were making 90 million a year and they wouldn't buy us, you know, a hundred dollar uh, uh, stuff from the home Depot where we're not going to hurt each other. You know, you know, it's, it's still going to hurt, but you get the right kind of trash cans and right kind of tables and all that stuff and stop letting us just get old stuff from the back of these old buildings that are is real, you know, stuff that can hurt you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then uh, Eric said, you, you can't don't blame this on us and blah, 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 blah. And then right when I was going to snatch him, Jimmy Hart goes, come on, baby, we got to do something down in Sun Studios. And, and he grabbed me out of there because we did have to do some kind of filming down there. But if not, man, I was, I was going to choke Eric out. I swear I was so pissed off because mm. Fit was my friend. And then, now he's laying and he had he had dead foot for a while. I dropped foot, but he's because he cut, cut a couple of nerves, but he came back, man. He wore that boot for a while, but he came back and then he was resting again. I went, man, you're, you're, you're the toughest SOB I know because I saw the injury. It was bad, you know?